How long could you keep up with the fastest climbers in the Tour de France? 20 minutes, 10 minutes, five, two, one, 20 seconds. I'm sure you've got a figure in mind, but very few of us have ever had the opportunity of finding out. However, today we're about to. By the power of Zwift, we have a virtual Sepkus riding up out the Zwift at the exact same speed that he went up the real thing in the Tour de France in 2022, on his way to claiming the most prestigious Strava KOM on the planet. All we have to do is hold Robo Sep's wheel for as long as humanly possible. Connor, Hank and Sai have willingly volunteered to do this. I, on the other hand, have been forced into it. But we do have a secret weapon. GCN's very own twig. Do you mind if you call me Andrew? Uh, I mean, GCN's very own Andrew. Yes, Andrew Feather, the world's best amateur climber and the number one ranked male rider on Strava with 4,458 KOMs. Andrew is no stranger to Alpduez. He and a team of the best UK hill climbers travelled to France last year to tackle the legendary 21 hairpins and try and beat the Tour de France pros at their own game. You will have to check out the GCM Plus film of their attempt to find out how they got on, but it is an absolute cracker. You don't need me to tell you how good World Tour climbers are. The power that they produce from their teeny tiny bodies is just mind boggling. But what is world record pace? Well, when Sepkus claimed that KOM back in July of 2022, he averaged 373 watts for just over 36 minutes for a body weight of just 61 kilos. That's 6.1 watts per kilo for 36 minutes. And when we got to the Alpe d'Huez, the bottom is pretty steep and that's kind of where the first selection is made. Wout was pulling for a while, after that Stevie and, and Primoz, then it was up to me to make the pace, tried to do a, a steady pace. Yeah, it all went by in, in such a blur, just crazy. I think uh, in the race, it's almost a completely different climb because of the, the atmosphere. Here we are then, all lined up at the bottom of Alp de Zwift. Now this climb is a faithful recreation of the real world climb. Whilst it's not perfectly comparable, it's pretty damn close. As we mentioned before, we're using the Robo Pacer. Now you might have seen these whizzing round Zwift, tirelessly leading group rides for all different abilities. And it's what you can jump in and out of and they're ever evolving and they're super popular too. In this case though, Zwift have very kindly created a bespoke Robo Pacer from SEP's data. A 6.1 watt per kilo Robo SEP. Like the hardest Robo Pacer ever created. A Terminator, if you will, but just one made out of twiglets. Now it's worth noting here that we are going to get an armchair ride up the Alp, just like Jonas Vinigo did in last year's Tour de France, because with Robo Pacers, there is a draft effect. Now it might not be much in 20k an hour, but it's at least something. Time for some quick predictions. I'll be a bit annoyed if I don't last three minutes, but I wouldn't be surprised if it's not a second more. I think I'm going to last between 30 and 40 seconds, if I'm lucky. I'd love to last 15 minutes. That's what I'm gunning for. Yeah, I'm not getting dropped. Yeah, hold on as hold on as long as possible. Um, give it a go. You gonna sprint to the top? Try and sprint to the top, yeah. Sprint to the top. Strong finish, always good. Hey everyone, just want to wish you all lots of luck today on the Alpha Zwift. Uh, that is everyone except for Andrew. <laughs> I've heard about your reputation. Anyways, good luck to everybody. We've got 20 seconds to go. Game faces, everyone, all right? There's a lot at stake here. Pride, mainly, I think. Uh, you've got any of that. Uh, boom, you're right. up. I forgot to tie to my shoes. 
Zwift have kindly started us at the same place as usual when riding the road to Sky Route, so we get a few kilometres to spin the legs before the Alp begins. At this point, RoboSep is tapping out a slightly more casual 3.7 watts per kilo, but it's a bit much for Hank though, who appears to be a little more unprepared than usual. I'm not getting back on that. There's nothing I can do. There's nothing I can do. This is Jumbo Visma tactics though, isn't it? This is what they do. This is like what they did to Pogaccia at the tour. Just putting on the pressure before you even got to the bottom of the climb. One man down. Nearly two. <laughs> Here comes Connor taking the, taking the front. Hi, we're gonna top that. How you doing? Are <laughs> you doing that? Come on. Yeah. Seb Chris is 20, 16 seconds behind. Don't worry, Andrew, we're marking him. You're marking him? Okay. Yeah. He's okay. not gonna get away. Okay, here we go. You're about to hit it. Oh, sh here he goes. Yeah. We're on the out. 480 watts. I'm doing a whack of an art. Go on, man, on. Oh, I'm in the big ring. <laughs> yeah, that's me. Oh. Ah. Heart race 187. Haven't got to the first happen yet. Average 450 watts so far. I see how. Battery. Battery average 365. That was hard. My legs, I can taste blood in my mouth oh, and my legs are burning. And I did about 20 seconds. Didn't know I could hit that much in 20 seconds. <clears throat> ah. Well, Connor! Ah, that's me gone. F***ing okay, now. Ah. It's quite lifelike. I remember going around the corners. Go on, Si. There he goes. I think basically my tactic was to try and emulate my idol, Wav and Art, which I successfully did, minus the green jersey and the stage wins and the time in yellow and the fact that I've just done 11 stages before this and another 150k. Oh god. How you doing, Andrew? All right, yeah, just uh, <laughs> I know, trying to keep her uh, relatively steady. For the record, Andrew has just dropped Robo Set. It's one way of doing it. Yumbo Visma's lead out train, not going quick enough for the twig. I mean, Andrew, sorry. <laughs> Well done, Andrew, you are looking super strong, mate. <laughs> we're, um, we're just going to go grab a bit of lunch, I reckon. Okay. And uh, we'll John. see you back here in about 18 minutes. Do you know what I mean? Still 18 minutes ago. 18 minutes, yeah. That's a sandwich, please. A sandwich, sandwich. okay. Yeah. All right, cool. Baby, oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Cool, all right. Hello? Uh, Jonas who? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay, hi. I should be free in July, yeah. 
I'd, that'd be brilliant. Yeah, I'll have a look at flights. Let me, uh, let me go and have a look now. Cheers, excellent, see you soon. So how long did Andrew Feather hold world record pace? Well, uh, he actually beat Sepkus by three minutes. So what gives? Even though he put out the same power as Custard during the Tour de France, it turns out that Alp de Zwift runs a little quicker than Alp d'Huez, which is why his time is faster. Unfortunately for Andrew, it still wasn't enough though for him to add Alp de Zwift's KOM to his trophy case. So he is still only on 4,458. Oh, it's gone guys. I brought my, I brought my Ravita as well. He could have cleared up after himself, couldn't he? Oh. What do you think he did? I don't know. I mean, he was looking pretty strong when we left. I wonder what happened. Yeah. Who knows? Oh, well. Good job. See you ate his sandwich. Yeah, I uh, it did look nice, actually. Right. Well, there you go, then. Um, the answer to how long you can hold world record pace is, in our case, not very long at all. 20 seconds. <laughs> for me, anyway. <laughs> We gave it a good crack though, I mean, we gave it a good effort. Yeah. We tried. It was pretty, it was pretty interesting to see how fast though Sepkus goes up that climb. That was, that was insane. Yeah. Out of this world. And also, just, you know, that tipping point where you go from threshold to over threshold and just how much more quickly your reserves drop off. So he can hold that pace for like, what, 36 minutes plus. And there we are, just immediately in the red. I oh, know. Tanking it. Oh, I went really quickly as well. But I mean, it's such a cool experience as well because you generally get to see what that effort is like. You can do it from wherever, from your own home, from, you know, and then um, get that feeling of a, a real big race and a, and a serious world class effort. Yeah, remember those robo paces are constantly roaming around Zwift. At watts per kilos that are slightly more realistic for more of us, aren't they? There's loads of them out there, so you can find them all on the homepage when you log on to Zwift. Right then. Well, I've got no one to give the oranges Ravitas to now. Okay. Well, I'm sure you can. Yeah, I may as well eat yeah. as well. Yeah. Cool. Hey. Right. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And thank you very much to Sep for the uh, messages of encouragement and to Zwift for setting the whole thing up. How cool is that? Yeah, very cool. Really cool. Cheers, guys. Bye. I might actually go and do a section because I only do like <laughs>